Hello Violin Channel, I'm Pamela Frank and at the moment I'm at the Butler School of Music in Austin, Texas and when I'm not here I teach at the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia. I thought I'd talk a little bit about how to learn a piece of music. Uh, I think it's important for us to all be independent thinkers and to not be totally reliant on our parents, our teachers, how other people play the music that we're playing. I think that's it's necessary to develop our own voice so that the future of music is guaranteed. Otherwise, all we're doing is regurgitating somebody else's ideas. Um, and for me, it's very important to put whatever piece of music I'm learning into a much larger context. Try to learn everything about the composer, try to learn what else was going on in the world at that time, what was going on in history, what was going on in other areas of art and culture. Um, because the more information you have about what you're doing, the more you can interpret it. In other words, if, if a piece was written after the composer's mother's death, that would inform your interpretation. Um, if it was written at the same time as a huge breakthrough in visual art, that, would, that might also inform your interpretation. So to get a bigger context for what you're doing, I think is vital. And then I feel very strongly that we should not be learning with records. I have no objection to getting a cross-section of interpretations after I have really thought out and worked out what I'm going to do with a piece. I have no problem listening to other versions of the same piece after I've performed something for the first time. But I think using recordings as a, as a learning tool is a very dangerous thing um, because nobody is impervious to being influenced. And I think recordings subconsciously uh, color your own, your own thinking. So for me, the, the most important thing is to take, in, in addition to the context, to take the score. The score is the Bible. And even if you don't officially know how to read a score, you, you get feelings about things. You can see rhythm, you can see texture, you can see meter, you can see markings, you see dynamics, you see tempos, you see voicing, you see orchestration. You get a lot of information just visually. You can look at it like a map. You can even see motion. And I have learned every piece that I know well, I've learned really first with the score. So try to learn the notes last. Learn the music first. You can get all your ideas, articulation, sound, color, tempo, which string to use, um, inflection, nuance. You can get all those ideas just from looking. And then when you finally start to work on the piece instrumentally, you, you already have so many ideas in place that your hands are just following your head and your heart. So that for me would, would make a better interpretation than just learning the notes first. You can't learn the notes first and the music later. You don't become an artist on stage either. So everything has to be worked on simultaneously.